coffee. It is a wonderful morning, even though the weather is not kind of going hand in hand with the show. But uh, I want to thank everybody for tuning in. Uh, we have a great show lined up today. Uh, for most of you, uh, we just uh, did our hot topic. You saw that about dog bites, very important. And if you want to hear that again, please make sure you tune in to WTR Radio later on this morning and you can hear the same thing. Uh, you know, my first guest today is Renee and Peter Luciago. Did I get that right? Yeah. Perfect. From Rising Sun Talent? Yep, Rising uh, Stars Talent. Rising, oh, Rising Stars, Stars Talent. Talent. Yes, sir. Jeez, I am so bad with that. But I got close. You got the name right. I got the <laughs> name right. And that was really what I was really hoping for. Because you guys know out there that I brutalize people's names. So, welcome to Morning Coffee. Great. Thanks for having us. So, so Rising Star Talent. Right. Tell me, well, actually, let's tell you, let's tell the listeners out there, how did you get started in this? How did you get started in the business? Wow. Well. I know that's a loaded question. Let's yes. start off with All right. I'll, I'll, I'll shrink mine down really quickly. Um, actually, I grew up in the business. Um, my father, the late Roland Chambers, was one of the arrangers, composers, and musicians for The Sound of Philadelphia with Kenny Gavin and Leon Huff. So I grew up with people okay. like Marvin Gaye in my home, Patti LaBelle, Gladys Knight. My uncle, Carl Chambers, was a drummer for Olivia Newton-John and Gladys Knight, so I literally grew up with music in the house. And um, from four years old, knowing that I wanted to do Broadway and travel and live my dream, so I did that. Met my lovely husband at Hershey Park Happy. 1986. 1986. 1986. Doing, wow. doing dance shows. And uh, we dated for a while, got engaged, did shows together, tours, got married in Hawaii. Started booking our Broadway shows together, Starlight Express, all the Andrew Lloyd Webber shows, Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat right. with Donny Osmond. What else? Jesus Christ Superstar. Uh, West Side, West Side, West Side Story. Story. <laughs> uh, and it, the list goes on and on. We did that for about 25 years right. um, between four to five countries, Switzerland, Germany, Japan. We speak German. We speak Japanese. Uh, and then finally decided in my late 30s, Oh, it's time to come home back to South Jersey where I grew up. Right. He's a Bronx guy, and I'm the Jersey girl. Oh. And we finally decided to have our family. Yeah, 2000, so. 2000 we had our first child. Yeah. So. so we've been making noise in Mount Laurel. Came to Mount Laurel yeah. and started making noise here as um, artists and business owners. Yes. And I started in performing arts uh, when I decided to take ballet, uh, classical ballet, back in the early 80s. And then I was, I was in Florida at the time, I went back to New York, got into classical ballet in New York, and then went to musical theater, and that's yeah. when I met her. But he was a construction worker construction by day with all these rough martial dudes. Martial artist, construction worker. And then a ballerina at yeah. night, which was like, well, I love it. I gotta ask you this question, because like, I watch a lot of those movies, those right. type of movies. Mm -hmm. You know, so you were a ballet, that means you got up on the top of your toes? Is that you know what, uh, my, my ballet teacher did put me on toe shoes to okay. strengthen my feet, mm -hmm. uh, but typically guys don't, okay. Girl, oh, the girls okay. do, I was on say. point. Because yeah. I want to know about, the, is right. it really tear your toes up like it does? It does. My, yes. I'll feed her you a mess from yes. shows. Yes, a little oh, bit, yeah. yes. Dancers See feet, my toes? mine are, <laughs> are kaput. Okay. <laughs> you know what, because I, I think that, I, I'm fascinated by that, the, by that industry and I'm mm -hmm. like I said whenever there's a movie you know like an inspirational movie type thing mm -hmm. I'm, I'm glued to it I right. love that type of stuff yeah it's it I, my discipline came from that I did martial arts since I was nine okay. and when I went to classical ballet my ballet teacher Natalie Nijinsky Russian trained mm -hmm. the most disciplined person that I met and she really gave me that my discipline so the discipline I'm actually going to go to a ballet school later on today and they're gonna give me a ballet class as a master instructor mm -hmm. because I'm a master teacher uh -huh. It's an auto karate centers, but uh, dance experience. They're going to give me a ballet class, and we're going to videotape the master instructor being taught ballet. But the <laughs> idea is to talk about discipline, right? And in martial arts and in classical ballet. Yes. So, okay. uh, so that's my bit of my background. Now, Very you short. Did, but you did some. You did some film too. I think. Yes. I did film. When I, I liked stage a lot. Okay. I did yeah. TV work, uh, New York Undercover, Swift Justice, a couple of TV shows up in New York. Didn't like it because it, you had to wait a long time to do a quick scene. Yes. And in theater, <laughs> I was used to this. Yeah, on stage, right. yeah. do your show, come home, and then right. you're done. And I also did a couple of films. The most recent film that I worked on that was big was uh, M. Night Shyamalan's film, Last Airbender. Last Ember. That was, that was so amazing. Uh, four months on that. Wait, when was that? That was... Um, 
like five or six years ago, ago, and we rented out the whole of the Morristown, uh, the movie theater before they out. renovated it, right, and we right. bought it out, and had all of our karate students from Donato Karate, which is here oh, in Mount yeah. Laurel, and all of our dance students that we coach and that we train yeah. and had an amazing party. It was so much fun. So we didn't know, like he, you know, he kept getting bumped up. Like he was only supposed to be on for like a month, ended up working, what, three months? Three months on, on it. it. And getting moved up. He was working with the stunt guys from LA. He was coming home like, oh, this happened today. And that, <laughs> so it was so cool. So my kids right. and I were up there and everybody's like, oh, I'm like, so our, we have our daughter and uh, Alexandra, who's 15, and our son, who's 12, but they were younger then. And we're watching the screen, and all of a sudden we see his head, I'm like, there's daddy! And everybody's yeah. like, yay! Like, cheering. It was so much fun. Love he got so much cool. screen time. It was very, very cool. cool. And I help out with independent films. And now I'm getting ready to do a small, uh, not relatively small independent film, and I'll be a senator. That's yeah. why I'm letting my hair You gray. look like a senator. Yeah, that's, He's that's, letting that's, his hair gray out. Yeah, that's my character. Getting into his my character, character, character now. My character is senator. I have gray hair, and... And uh, so it's a lot of it's a lot of fun. So I still do that along with um, the martial arts. So there's a lot of different things that we do. Yes. And one of the things that we love doing is helping others. That's why the yeah. talent of uh, uh, Rising Stars talent yeah. came right. about. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Because I mean, uh, you know, it's very important as far as help. Because I think that's the biggest thing. What's well, wrong with the world? Yeah. Right give, now. We, we, we got to give back. Start helping people. I mean, those of us that have lived. Uh, you know, I just turned 55. And so I've lived uh, you know, quite a bit of years, a lot of experience, and uh, we would just pass that on. Definitely. I mean, because I, I know for me, you know, I mean, you know, and I didn't realize until I was maybe, what, 12 or 13, as I'm going to school, and I'm like, to my mom, oh, can I take one of dad's gold records off the wall and take it? Because my friends were like, yeah, right, he didn't play with so-and-so, and he didn't. But, you know, I grew up in that, but I also knew that my path, I loved being on stage and performing. Right. So, you know, and us both actually, when we met each other at Hershey Park, working with, I mean, the directors that we worked with when we were in college were doing the Broadway shows. And we were doing, you know, the theme park shows, Disney and Hershey Park and all these things. And that was the next level. So they would take us under their wing and teach us, well, Renee, this is how you need to be prepared for your music. Peter, this is what you need to do to, you know, take care of your body, this, that, and the other. So, you know, what, 30 something years later, we're like, that was given to us. I mean, to be able to work with Andrew Lloyd Webber himself, I mean, this is like, you know, the students that we coach now are getting it from the first degree, from the horse's mouth. M. Night Shyamalan, all these big names, Arlene Phillips, right. that are just not known here in the United States, but worldwide for amazing productions that they do. You know, right. they mentored us. So for me to be able to come back to where I grew up in this area and the talent that we have here, is incredible in South Jersey. It's a lot of town, right? Morristown a lot of town. area, Medford, Mount Laurel. I mean, musicians. We've got writers, um, dancers, artists. I mean, triple threats. Mm -hmm. And so, for me to be able to come back and give and pour back into our next generation, and with my husband, with the both of us, it kind of interlaps. I believe the martial arts, performing art, fine art. It all goes together, and it teaches you discipline and how to focus and how to stay mm -hmm. sharp. Right. And you have to have great grades in school. You know, I tell them, I'm like, look, you're not getting into NYU or you're not getting into Boston Conservatory unless you have a 3.5 or higher academically, then we'll talk about the performing. Right. Do you know what I mean? Then we'll also, talk about the art. And so. I bring the business part because I also yeah. we also take the business part, what we've learned in the industry, the business part of it. Oh, yeah. And I bring, because that's what I, I do now. I'm very much a business, marketing, promotions, okay. especially with uh, making noise yeah. on the different social networks and how to brand yourself, promote yourself. This way you position yourself so that you can have as high success as possible, you know, sooner rather than later. Okay. And so just the things that we've learned that, gosh, that works now, works now. Right, right. And how do you get booked? Do you need an agent? So a lot of things we help the artists and also to navigate in the industry, which can be pretty crazy. volatile. It can so, be crazy. Absolutely. It can be really crazy. 100%. We definitely want to navigate through that. Okay, we're going to take a quick commercial break. Uh, we're going to be right back with Peter and Renee Luciago. Yep, you got it. Boy, it. two times in a row, you guys, I want some emails high fying me for that there one. High five. Uh, with Star <laughs> Talent, right? Rise and Star Talent. Talent. I'll get it. I'll get it before the end of the show. We'll get it right. <laughs> Simply Gents, located in Marlton, New Jersey, takes care of all your grooming needs, including haircuts, straight razor shaves, massages, facial, manicures, pedicures, and waxing. To find more information or book an appointment, visit us online at www.simplygents.com. The secret weapon of a well-groomed man, Simply Gents. When it's time for Jersey Mike's to make a really great sub, this is what we do. 
It's what we've been doing. It's what we've always done. It's what we'll always do. So what are you doing? Jersey Mike's. Be a sub above. Today's show has been sponsored by More Than Gifts. Come see our new location in Marlton, New Jersey. Not just gifts, but more. Today's show was brought to you by Alicia Kelly of Whitehorse RV Center in Williamstown, New Jersey. Alicia is your RV expert. Contact Alicia at alicia at whitehorserv.com or give her a call at 856-262-1717, extension 203. When you think of RV, think Alicia Kelly. Extra Innings is the nation's premier indoor baseball and softball training center featuring indoor batting cages, seven multi-use tunnels, and training rooms. Extra Innings can provide professional instruction, private and group lessons, and the best year-round clinics. Along with a nationally recognized pro shop that features the latest and widest selection of equipment and apparel, our experienced staff can provide you with the right instruction and help you find the best equipment for your ability and budget. Extra Innings, where the game never ends. When it's time for Jersey Mike's to give a sub some sizzle, this is the way. The way it's always been. The way it always should be. The way it always will be. Because that's just the way it's supposed to be. Jersey Mike's, be a sub above. Today's show has been sponsored by More Than Gifts. Come see our new location in Martha, New Jersey. Not just gifts, but more. Today's show has been sponsored by Farmers Insurance in Voorhees, New Jersey. To protect your assets and the people you love, call Mike Skoranek, your local Farmers Insurance agent, at 856-336-2553. We are farmers. Bum, ba -dum, bum, 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 bum. To morning coffee, and uh, we are here with our first guest this morning. We have Renee and Peter Luziago. Boy, I'm yes. killing it on the name with rising star talent. Yes. Uh, who, why do you even get into the third yeah. grade? Yeah. 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 I'm good. See, I'm happy. I'm very happy I did that. So, guys, you know, we were we were talking a little the first uh, first portion of the show, uh, kind of getting to know you. Um, you know, what I want to do is kind of get to the nuts and bolts of the business. You know, you say you like to help people. Tell right. us about Rising Star Talent. Okay, Rising Star Talent actually came about because uh, people got to know us as artists, creatives, and started asking for advice. A lot of things that I did in the martial arts uh, space as a leader, I trained leaders. I would always give talks on YouTube or Facebook and video, mm -hmm. give information about business. And some people started asking us in, let's say, creative space about how to position themselves. So we started giving them uh, in information and then it turned yeah. into workshops. Yeah. Then we said, you know what? <laughs> Let's create this business called Rising Stars Talent so that we can really uh, have everyone go to one spot yeah. where we have all the right. information and then really help them build in a, in a professional way yes. in the creative spaces, whether it's dance, no matter where they want to go as an artist, right. as a creative. And so that's how it started. Renee, yeah. you know, has been doing a lot of work with the artists. I'm basically the business person, yeah. marketing, promotions, how to position yourself and get your brand out there. Renee's just hard yeah, I'm, I'm the yeah. hands-on. So um, let's see. I can well, actually, I can say a few people because I can kind of share um, a couple of students that I coached when they were like 13, 14, and 15. One of them just made the Eagles dance squad. One of the Eagles cheerleaders at a 500. Nice. They picked 20. She's from Morristown, my girl, Julia yeah. McHale. I'm so proud of her. She danced through Morristown Theater Company, which I choreographed for. So, I mean, you know, and I have a couple other students, a younger one who's seven years old in Voorhees that went through a program, and I coach privately because I really, you know, it's the ones that are not just serious about it and have a talent, because talent really is not it's, important. It's, it's, right. the, it's the determination, it's the discipline, it's the focus, it's the passion that's going to drive them to do the homework. Um, so my youngest one's seven, and he got called up for like a couple of new Broadway shows, Finding Neverland. Uh, you know, he's seven, 
but he's got a great voice. He loves what he does. He's like, Mr. Renee, I want to be on Broadway. And that was me when I was four. So it's like, I see these children and I right. see in them what I had. And a lot of the parents, they really, they trust us. Trust us. We've built that trust because within this business, you know, and as you know, the music business, show business, it can be very dangerous and very right. scary. So, Absolutely. you know, we not only teach them the tools that they need, you know, uh, for what they're learning, for their discipline, whether it be, you know, music or acting or dance or all three, but, you know, what to say, what not to say, uh, never leave your children alone with a director or anyone in, at an audition, you know, all these things, you know, come prepared, bring healthy snacks, all the, especially for the younger ones in the teens, because I'm a mom now. So I feel like right. I'm like mama bear, like I have to protect my, my babies or my children. And it's very important. We'll, I will get parents, I'll have parents calling, Renee, my daughter, you know, they want her to do a photo shoot in New York. Do you know this agent? Do you know, I, I don't feel comfortable about this. And then I can say, yes, I know them or no, I don't. We've had right. so many connections over the last 30 years where people that we've actually performed and worked with mm -hmm. that were on stage with us are now the top choreographers. They're right. now the top directors. They're mm -hmm. now producers at Paper Mill and you know all these big playhouses. So I feel comfortable saying, yes, you can go to them because we've known them for 30 something right. years. Right. Yeah, what was great is that uh, we not only remind them of what they already know as far as resumes, being professional, things that are obvious, but we really dig into things that are not so obvious. Like for instance, the parents, um, calling up about particular uh, agencies and whether it's uh, a legitimate agency or do they just want their money mm -hmm. and we help them that auditions we help prepare the students the kids uh, for other parents that want to go to an audition how to prepare for it what song to sing how long the song to sing and then Renee really pulls out of them their talent and gifts and then helps that mold them this way when they go to the audition they're, ready. they're prepared we put them on camera we put them on stage and Renee takes them through it we'll have workshops we have one coming up in June Yay. that will get everyone in there and show them how to audition on camera for camera or on stage for stage very very different very whether different. it's musical doesn't matter mm -hmm. changes the, the whole space is changed so we'll teach them we found a lot of artists were very hungry for that kind of um, information and especially how do I promote myself how do I get an yes. agent it's yes huge. Yes, it's huge, yeah, and we're it's telling them that these days you don't have to. You can promote you. Yeah, you can pr so, promote yourself for free. Right. Right. And we tell them that the work that has to be done, because it's hard work, it is. bottom line, hard work. Not only do you have to hone your craft, your talent, your gift, but you also have to understand the industry and then position yourself in the industry. And there's always a beginning. We've got this. And yeah. this is why I carry this with me everywhere. You can create your own commercials and you get used to being yep. in front of a camera That's right. and in that space there and then you find your voice and then you put it out there in all these platforms and then you start positioning, you start building. You do that one month, six months, six years. And our industry, yeah. what we found in any industry, you become successful simply because you just keep showing up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And whether you're talented or not, we found that talent is yeah. very little. It's the hard work yep. and the willingness to work hard and hustle and never give up. Talent comes, I'm not very talented. If I do have a talent, yes, my talent yes, is, yes, yes. My, my, <laughs> you know, well my talent is, because I grew up a very quiet, shy um, child. I didn't really start talking until I was in my 30s. And it took, I always tell people, it took you know, God putting me in ballet tights on a stage in the most embarrassing situation <laughs> as a macho guy from, and I'm a former From gang the Bronx. Member. I grew up in a, you know, in a gang, in gangs in New York. And, uh, but I grew into the person that I am today. Yes. And this is what I tell the talent. If you have a passion to uh, take whatever creative uh, source you have, talent you have, mm -hmm. uh, build on it and go out there, it'd be great to earn a living with it. I can show yes. you how to do that. and we can that. show them how. Awesome. So awesome. rising stars talent, exactly. Rising stars. stars. Rising stars. They're, they're getting and there. They're even growing. Even they've been there 10 years, 20 years. We have some uh, veterans. Yeah, we have veterans, they're too. They're still rising. Coach. They're still rising and Renee doing their and thing. I, even though we have mature in this industry, yeah. we're still rising. Yeah. And we, still, ain't we, over. Still, we still book a lot of work. Actually, we're all over yeah. in Pennsylvania right on the now, other side. Poconos. Pocono Mountain. It was, visit theponomountains.com. It's my husband and I. We're and the, the, the children were on billboards. People were like, just came on out. Facebook, hey, we see you on a billboard. And I'm like, okay. So, um, you know, so, yeah, yeah so, so we, you know, we're still creative in the business as far as talent. So my agent yesterday from New York just called and said, Renee, I need three clips of choreography for, you know, commercial Broadway jazz and I need it due by two right. o'clock. And I had a, well, I had a training session 
my, my student wanted to talk, and I'm like, we can talk and work out, let's go. But I, <laughs> Mama has to finish. I call myself Mama, Mama the Musical, that's what I'm doing 24 hours a day, seven days a week, because right. we have two children still. I was like, my time is important, so as soon as we work out, had to kick her out, and then I had to focus on, okay, and now I need to slate my name for my big New York agents, because I don't know what they're gonna send me on next. Do you know what I mean? And I right. need to get all my homework done so that when I get home, I can be there for our two children to have their homework done and snacks and all. And then they go, one goes with him to the karate school to teach and work. And then I'm with my son. So, I mean, our day is like, it's tight. Yeah, we maximize yeah. our day. We help yeah. the artists understand yeah, you have, the have actual to be practical application and uh, of your day to work and to yeah. organize your day. And I'm really great at that. Well, that's good. That's good because uh, I'll tell you what, time management is one of the most important things. We got to take a quick commercial break. Speaking okay. of time right. management, I got to manage this show. That's right. Simply Gents, located in Marlton, New Jersey, takes care of all your grooming needs, including haircuts, straight razor shaves, massages, facial, manicures, pedicures, and waxing. To find more information or book an appointment, visit us online at www.simplygents.com. The secret weapon of a well-groomed man, Simply Gents. When it's time for Jersey Mike's to make a really great sub, this is what we do. It's what we've been doing. It's what we've always done. It's what we'll always do. So what are you doing? Jersey Mike's. Be a sub above. Today's show has been sponsored by More Than Gifts. Come see our new location in Martha, New Jersey. Not just gifts, but more. Today's show was brought to you by Alicia Kelly of Whitehorse RV Center in Williamstown, New Jersey. Alicia is your RV expert. Contact Alicia at alicia at whitehorserv.com or give her a call at 856-262-1717 extension 203 when you think of rv think of alicia kelly extra innings is the nation's premier indoor baseball and softball training center featuring indoor batting cages seven multi-use tunnels and training rooms extra innings can provide professional instruction private and group lessons and the best year-round clinics Along with a nationally recognized pro shop that features the latest and widest selection of equipment and apparel, our experienced staff can provide you with the right instruction and help you find the best equipment for your ability and budget. Extra innings, where the game never ends. When it's time for Jersey Mike's to give a sub some sizzle, this is the way. The way it's always been. The way it always should be. The way it always will be. Because that's just the way it's supposed to be. Jersey Mike's. Be a sub above. Today's show has been sponsored by More Than Gifts. Come see our new location in Marlton, New Jersey. Not just gifts, but more. Today's show has been sponsored by Farmers Insurance in Voorhees, New Jersey. To protect your assets and the people you love, call Mike Skoranek, your local Farmers Insurance agent, at 856-336-2553. We are farmers. Bum, ba, da, bum, 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 bum. Coffee, and I'm here with my guest, Renee and Peter Luciago. Which yeah. that is three for three audience if you keep in count. I know you guys always bust my chops with star, oh rising star talent. That's right. I got it. Ta -da. Ta -da. All right, you leave Jazz me alone hands. for today. All right. So guys, you know we have we've had a wonderful conversation. Um, you know we were talking a little bit about what rising star does and everything. And you know you mentioned an interesting thing. Um, you know because I'm a big TV person. Mm -hmm. You know what? Mm -hmm. You know in this. Uh, play stuff like that but you said about doesn't matter the age right. you know because I, I'm assuming that you know you obviously deal with young younger yes. people right and then you deal with veterans yes. you know and as you get older I'm assuming you have to change 
the way you do things, right. even for like performing type of stuff. Yeah. You're a cho choreographer, did I mm -hmm. say that right? Yes, that's right. Okay, so a choreographer, you know, if you're younger, you could probably make some moves. Mm -hmm. And I always remember the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Yeah. Where she she was asked to go back in. Yes, and she I showed, love that Vivian, she, and, Vivian she and she worked she it. it. She twirled. And then she got out and yes, then she collapsed. She like, no, exactly. <laughs> but, but she had to learn that's it. Her right, right. What to do? Right. Yes. So do you come across that stuff? Without question, without question. Yes, yes we do. Uh, and, and for me, what I loved, um, and what I still love doing with Rising Stars Talent, with what we do, is that, you know, the talent, no matter where they are, whether they've just done things here regionally, like in community theater, whether it's in Haddonfield or Morristown or wherever, but they love and they have that passion. It's not just about them, like, you know, doing off-Broadway or going to Broadway or doing movies or TV or film, but if they enjoy that passion, then we will take those students on as well, too, those clients on as well, and just teach them, you know, and just for them to enjoy themselves and where they are in their lives, right. you know, getting in shape. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I do a whole nutritional thing as well, too, um, staying fit. You know, I'm, I'm in my late it's 40s huge. and sporty, right, right, right. and it's huge, you know, and, and some of us have children and things like that as well, too, so we have to be able to keep up with our children. So some of the other, uh, the other moms, the other mommies that love performing and singing, they go on to do cabaret stuff at the Walnut Street Theater and things like that, because they've always loved to do that. That was always their passion yeah. and their dream. And one of the things that I remembered was when I was in L.A. three years ago, I was mentored by Liz Imperio, one of Jennifer Lopez's choreographers. She's an amazing woman. And she said to me, and I love this because I'm, oh, it's, I didn't bring my eye touch. It's somewhere in my pocketbook. But yeah. one of my students put the bat on the back of it. She said, do you, Renee? She said, never put an age limit on your dreams and your goals. Because I'm thinking, I'm in my 40s, I'm tired, I'm old, I already had a career. And she's like, no, now it's time for me to pull it out of you. This is the next journey, this is the next part. And when I said that to Peter, he was like, Renee, we've gotta do this. He's like, all the students, everybody we know in our area, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, New York, are asking us, Renee and Peter, how did you do it? How did you have a successful career? And we want to learn from the two of you. So when I said, you know what, honey, we're, we're, we're not done. You know, because now, right. you know what I mean? Now I can get to continue to learn and grow and pour into while I'm learning, because we're still learning. And we, we, we know a lot, mm -hmm. but I don't know everything. Yep. And I love that. I love that part of, right. that part of the creative part of Rising Stars Talent, of what we do. And one of the greatest tips that I can give artists right now is uh, this idea of self-awareness. Now, if you are aware of the fact, if everyone just looks at the industry, whatever industry, creative industry out there, any industry, mm -hmm. you see it, it's always evolving and yes. there's a position for everyone at any age level. Entertainment, you see there's roles out there mm -hmm. for young and old. Uh, heavy, you could be out of shape yes. and struggling with uh, staying in shape, but there's a role out there there's for you. For you. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's roles, that, so you have to be self-aware enough to know how do I fit in in the industry that I want to go into? And then let me start branding that. I'm all about branding. I'm all about telling your story so that when people meet you, they actually have an idea of who you are and how they can basically utilize your gifts and talents in their project. And so I know a lot of artists, uh, when I talk about branding, they don't agree with me on that. They think that as an actor, you should be like neutral. They should right. not see me as anything except when they give me a role, then I'll sh I'll uncover that role and bring right. out that yeah, role. Yeah. Me, I'm a Hispanic. I'm 55 <laughs> right. years old, and I look younger than some people say that I am. I'm very fit, but that's who I am, and I'm aware of that. And right. I'm going to brand that. Cause, you know, I'll wear my blue. I'll wear my. I'm always camera ready. You know, whatever the camera is, I'll look into the camera, smile, and I'm Peter Lisiaga. And if you want to get to know me, this is who I am. Mm -hmm. And I know once you know who I am and my work ethic. And you know, on my projects, if I have a history, or if I don't have a history, my right. training, and I put that out there, that's my brand. And someone will say, I know there's one person out there that right. says, I want you, and that's what's happened to me. All yeah. I need is one job. And then after that, one more, and then right. one more. So my number one tip for all artists out there, I don't know which camera, are we on one, two, or three? I don't know. You're on three. I'm on three. Uh, one tip, self-awareness. Know your talent, know your gifts, and know where you are right now in your life and you do that yes. and you tell that story and then you share where you are your experience uh, to those people that are listening there is someone out there that wants mm -hmm. to use you on their project and, and I got to tell you and all I say is when because we you know kind of do share the same philosophy a little I mean uh, I always mention Dr. Oz you know in mm. today's world 
branding yourself is huge. Dr. Oz yes. has never has to see another patient again if he doesn't want to. Right. He's, he's right. branding himself the expert. Right. They have to brand themselves as the best out there. Right. You know right. what I mean? And I think where they get, a, I think, just standing back, I think where a lot of people get to where they want to be like Switzerland to the people out there, <laughs> I think they get that because of there's actors that get into themselves into roles mm -hmm. and they just can't get out of them. You know, like, you know, your daytime actors, you know what right. I mean? They're so used to being on a soap that when you see them in a movie, you're like, that doesn't make sense. Yeah. You know what I mean? We just, but I, I think society's doing better that. with that. I uh, totally, totally get that. But then there's a part in your life, and a lot of actors now, when they've matured, they spend spent many years in the industry, yeah. it's now Dustin Hoffman. It's right. all yeah. about getting a job. Right. I, yeah. I need to get Continuing paid. To work. And I remember yes. seeing his most recent, he's got a big, making a lot of noise in in educating other actors. Yes, he's, got yeah, his, he's starting to do a yeah, lot too. A lot, and, and I remember him being on an interview saying, you know, hey, how does it feel to be in a movie? And it's oh, blah, blah, blah. And he says, you know what, I'm just happy I got a check coming in. So I'm working, right? And it's, it's, it comes down to that. I don't care where you are uh, in your profession, it's all about making sure you are able to pay your bills. Now maybe your bill is maybe $10,000 a month or it's $100,000 a month or $100 million a month. <laughs> you still gotta meet your responsibilities. Right. Absolutely. And actors, and that's the key. So yeah. you well, don't wanna pigeon yourself. You want no. to, if you have a job, just be excited about that. Well, yes. Uh, and I agree, you know, and he's right. And honestly, and another thing that's kind of pushing on uh, that industry is, you know, look, you know, 50 years ago, you know, Kirk Douglas had a, had a child Michael, uh, Michael Douglas, you know, I mean, it goes yes. on. That's how, yeah. like, it, you know, the career's kind of built. Mm -hmm. But nowadays, like, who's Silky? Where the heck she come right, from? Right. She's some reality Well, this is the star. reality, right? Yeah, this, this is, is the reality, reality you know. Yeah, um, uh, generation. Generation. Yeah. And it's just yeah. like, actors are not born into acting now. It's kind of like, yeah. right. like you know, like I watch the Swamp People. I, mm -hmm. I love them. Right. You know, it's interesting. Right. Uh, it's another thing I, think, I, I think I like the, I, I mean, I think because of where we are now in our industry, I like having the idea of having the old school, and that's what right. we teach with the new school, and, and blending it together. I mean, I, I think I would say for me, with, um, with any students or anybody that we bring on to Rising Stars Talent, my one tip would be, be prepared, come prepared to learn. Okay. You know, and just having that preparation. If they, and most of them know more than we do about, you know, doing their websites. I mean, Peter and I have tutorials. We put tutorials on our, on our Rising Star site of this is how you make a demo reel. This is how you, you know, do a sizzle reel. What's the difference between a sizzle reel and a demo reel? This is how you put your things up on YouTube. This is how you set it up. And for the parents, this is how you have the parental controls mm -hmm. over what you put up for your five, six, or seven year old online right, because right, you don't right. want to put a lot of things like that up either as well too. You know, it should usually just go to the managers and or agents or clients that these children are auditioning for certain right. shows. Right. So we get into really detailed and specific, right, tips oh, on, no question. Uh, and it's it's so much sometimes it's overwhelming, right? That's and why sometimes I, I right now people just ask me a question and I'll pick this up and answer it either video, mostly video format, and I'll share it with them either either publicly or privately directly to them. Yeah. But another thing that I was thinking while you guys were talking was that people have to artists have to really. Uh, focus on marketing and branding themselves in today going into tomorrow's world. Yes. A lot of people are promoting right. themselves as if it was 2010. Yeah. Right. Some it's... people are just thinking that it's a picture and resume nope. and that's all I need. No. Nope. No, these days you have to have, a, a, if not a website, a presence on the internet. Right. Yes. LinkedIn or Facebook or uh, yes, not so much Twitter. a blog, well, but you have there's, to have a a, there's a thing that the young folks called a brag page. Uh, that they right. told me about. Right. Like mm -hmm. I watched, and I looked at it, and it yeah. was... Right, right. I mean, I, you almost have to do that type of stuff. You do, and you know, you have to, I call it making noise. Right. And you, have, you have Snapchat, you have yeah, uh, Twitter, Twitter, you have Instagram. Facebook, Instagram, and yeah. you go to, you go where your potential, your next person that's gonna hire you, where yes. would they be? And a, and a lot of agents and clients, yeah. they're on LinkedIn and Facebook. I mean, I've oh, booked I mean, about four or five things directly just through LinkedIn. Yeah. yeah. And people LinkedIn. are so caught up into this idea, which is antiquated, oh, I need an agent, I need an agent. No, you don't. The no. agent's very <laughs> helpful and can be useful, but you, and even if you have an agent, you have to help your agent. Yes. Yeah. And so we tell this, we tell them that, you know, you need to position yourself, you need to help the agent by knowing how to Market push yourself. you, market yeah, you. But you, you. The thing is, and the thing is, you need to still control that agent. Oh yeah. Oh. Sam Bradford. No, I'm gonna. <laughs>
that. Well, you know, they, they, they are working for you. Me? They work for the talent. <laughs> right. Yeah. They not work the other for way us. around. That's not weird. the other way around. That's what they were trying to say this morning on uh, yes. Channel 29 News. Mike Jarrett's crazy. But, you know, see, but, yeah. Oh, Fox 49. Yeah, Fox, oh, Quincy Harris. I love you, Quincy. That, that's my show right there. Quincy and I, I dance together. We do a lot of stuff. Do you really? Yeah, you, you saw. You, we did We did. Um, Dancing for Our Future Stars and raised close to $300,000. And he came in and dragged him in. And I had Quincy over at over here at our karate school in Mount Laurel teaching him dance. It was hilarious. Wow. He had so much he fun. Is him, Jen Frick, I he watched is so that. Great. They changed. Honestly, they changed the news for me. Like I used to hate watching the news. It's so depressing. Mm -hmm. And yeah, they're those fun. Guys, they're fun, fun and funny. They, you know what? They're not scared <laughs> to say, "Hey, you're stupid for doing that." You know what I mean? They just. <laughs> You know, so uh, that was talk show. Yeah, yeah. So, 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 what are we? So, what are we doing? So, what are oh, we doing? Workshop. So, our workshop. workshop. Yeah. What June, are you guys June, doing? June twelfth. Just 12th. go to risingstarstalent.com and you can shoot information shoot right three. there. Tell camera three. Camera three. Camera three. Risingstarstalent.com. Workshop June twelfth. June twelfth. Yeah. June twelfth. Okay. okay. Awesome. Um, and here, here in Mount Laurel. Right here in Mount so Laurel. Right here in Mount Laurel. Okay. So we're going to take a quick commercial break and we're going to be right back.